uh, we know that uh, 30-something is going to be making a return to TV in a little while. What can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, have, you, have you done any table reads? He's, double, the... he's double dipping. <laughs> <laughs> it's ABC, thank God. Um, uh, it's, it's a really great script. Ed Zwick and Marshall Herskovitz, you know, the guys that gave us Shakespeare in Love and Courage Under Fire and Ledges of the Fall. That's what they went and did when that show ended. So uh, uh, they're great filmmakers. They've written a great script. Ken Olin, Patty, we're all, we're all back. And um, it's uh, our kids are living together and having problems. And you have a bunch of 30-year-olds uh, suffering. And uh, I'll be running back and forth between the sets. I love 30-something. Can I come play your son? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> have you thought about yourself where Elliot has been all these, this time? Like, were you surprised when you were presented with the script? And, 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 and this is I, You know, I hadn't thought about Elliot, a character I played 30 years ago. And then my wife ordered him up. The, and I've been watching, and I'm thinking, that's a lot of energy that guy put out. <laughs> I don't know if I could play this guy anymore. Uh, so, you know, she's like, sure you can, sure you can. So, I mean, I'm excited. We're all excited. Uh, but right now, we're really excited about this. We're, the reviews are great. The cast is great. Hank is on fire. Uh, there's so many. Isaac's got so many stories. I'm really fortunate to be a part of this. Sure this show, and I think, um, you know, we got a really good yeah. one here. If 30-something in this take off, could we see the inevitable West Wing reboot? Would you Would you be back for that? Oh, my God, <laughs> easy, easy. I, look, I didn't understand anything I was saying on that show. <laughs> so to try to learn monologues from that, of that, at, with Hank's monologues, I, I think I'm better. I love the West Wing. Can I come play your son? <laughs> <laughs> Another good show. I've been lucky, I've been lucky. <laughs> do you think you could do West Wing today? Like, what do you think it would be if, if Aaron Sorkin were to do it? Uh, you know, it, it's up to Aaron. You know, Hank, I've worked for Hank for, before and without a trace. We really live and die on the writers being on fire. Mm -hmm. On West Wing, they were on fire. And without a trace, Hank was on fire. In 61, Hank was on fire. Uh, uh, every show he's done, uh, nine, last ship, every one, he's been on fire. Uh, we live and die by him being on fire. If Aaron's on fire, we'll all fall in. But it's not an actor-driven medium this is uh, a writer's medium and we come from radio into tv and it hangs on fire and if aaron's on fire the show could work if they try to make the show without that central writer being on fire then you look at what we see so often overdeveloped television mm -hmm. where the network thinks they can make a hit by putting people in the right spot and forgetting athletically we need our quarterback to be on fire mm -hmm.